Hello everyone, today I will be comparing the Moyu Olong V1 and V2. What really made these two cubes different? Now, although these cubes are pretty old, let me give you some background. The Moyu Olong first came out, and this was the V1, and Felix Zemdex had originally set a record on it, but as you can see, this cube wasn't very stable, and he set the record, but it did not count because he had a tor corner twist. So, because of this problem, and because we could see it's a little unstable, or cough, a little bit more than little, they, Moyu, decided to release a V2. Now this version is much more solid, much more stable. Corner twists do not happen nearly as easy. So what really makes these two cubes different? If we take a look at the mechanisms, we can see that basically nothing has changed. The center caps are still the same, and the internals still seem to fit together the same way. We can compare the two edges. On the left is a V2, on the right is a V1. You can see they both look identical still. And together with its corner, as you can see the V2, they still fit together well, as with the V1. They both look the same from the outside, as they have the same sticker shades, and they both had the same corner cutting because of the same mechanism. But somehow, the V2 was much more stable. It retained its cube shape much better than the V1 did. And that begs the question, why does the V2 feel so different? The V1 was a light, bubbly, fast cube. At first, when it came out of the box, it was sandy, but over time, it has become more clicky. Similarly, the V2 out of the box was sandy, but as you continued, it became clicky, but somehow it still did not have that bubbly feeling, but a more stable and solid feeling. What was the cause? My theory is that the Olong V1 has more rounded off pieces at the, over the top. I'm not sure if you can see, but when you feel, the Olong V2 has a flat cap on all centers, while the V1 has this rounded off cap. That gives it this feeling like a bubble. That's why many cubers, I think, describe this V1 as bubbly. The pieces felt more rounded and pillowed on the outside than the V2 did. That is really the only noticeable difference I could tell between the two cubes. The V1 was more rounded on the outside, and I think that led to some unstableness between these corner twistings. Well, the V2, because it was flattened down and no longer more pillowed like, it became more like a cube. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Comment your theories or why you think the Olong V1 and V2 are so different, regardless of having the same mechanism, down below. Bye!